Before the opening bell, U.S. indices, they closed lower on Wednesday, lifted by shares in retailing, consumer durables, and apparel and tech hardware and equipment sectors. Strong results from retailers such as Target and Lowe's helped lift investor sentiment, and the Fed's latest FOMC meeting minutes showed that officials saw the latest interest rate cut as insurance against further downside risk from weak global growth and trade policy uncertainty. While they generally agreed that it was important to maintain optionality in setting the future target rate for the federal funds rate. Now on the economic front, existing home sales rising 2.5% month over month to an annualized rate of 5.42 million units in July. This as 86% of S&P 500 constituents traded higher yesterday. Now after the markets closed, Synopsys unveiling third quarter adjusted EPS of $1.18 up from $0.64 cents a year ago on revenue of $853 million. That's up from $780 million the previous year. And Nordstrom posting second quarter EPS of $0.90 cents down from $0.95 cents the previous year on revenue of $3.88 billion. Moving on, Asian markets, they were mixed today. The Nikkei rising 0.05%, the Hang Seng down 0.84%, China CSI 300 rising 0.31%, South Korea's Kospi down 0.69%. European indices edging lower and futures calling for a consolidation at the open. Now in terms of expectations today, we have Gap, Ross Stores, Hormel Foods, HP, Intuit and Salesforce.com. Well, on the economic dock at 8.30 in the morning, we have both initial and continuing jobless claims figures. 9.45 sees market manufacturing as well as market services and market composite PMI figures all released. 10 o'clock in the morning begins the Jackson Hole Economic Policy Symposium. And 11.30, we have both four-week and eight-week bill auctions. Taking a look at the markets, the S&P 500 is where we begin. That sees the bias remain bullish. The Nasdaq also sees the bias remain bullish, while the Dow Jones also sees the bias remain bullish, but that's in focus. The relative strength index mixed to bullish and long positions above 26,110 are favored with targets at 26,320 and 26,460 in extension.